Thank you to Benjamin Bagley, well, Buddy Bub, Aiden B, G4J, PDTS, Nomicality, Pollux, Mercury, and so many others for your support. To ka papa, ngonifikas, si fi, mo, sigimochi, momohika, fapo, mo, popohi, mita, haha, mo, si fanasohika, ha, papa, mo, mochi, papa, mama, si, tima, he, ha, mo, momomi, Koja. Welcome to another episode of Conlang Critique, a series where I look at my old conlangs and reveal what I love about them and what they could have done better on. Today, we're looking at my favorite conlang I've ever made, Jabba. No, not the hut. <sighs> now, what kind of conlang video would it be if we didn't start with? Constant chart is a bit interesting today. But if you think I'm going to properly pronounce half of these, you're dead wrong. P, B, T, K, G, K, T, K, M, N, M, F, S, Sh, J, H, Ch. So, as you can see, the consonants are simplistic-ish. Due to evolution, a lot of the plosives have become aspirated, merging with huh. In addition, one of the nasals, m, also has an aspirated variant. Something else to look at is the dual fricatives of sh and j. The reason there are two is because of our friend s. You see, s becomes sh for e. K, k, transitions into ch in the same situation, making an interesting chart. One last point is to ask why there's a k and a k. I don't think I pronounced that right. Well, the k came first, but was velarized before most vowels for obvious reasons seen by my terrible pronunciation of it. Now, to the vowels. E, A, O. Oh, oh, that's, that's it? I thought I had more time here. Uh, uh, yeah, there's only three bells and the associated long variants. There's really not much else to say. Three bell languages aren't terribly uncommon. Arabic is a good example. One other phonological thing we need to talk about are the language's tones. Many IRL languages have tones that change the meaning of words depending on how you say them. Mandarin is a good example of this. In Java, there are only two tones. High ah and middle Ah, uh, depending on how you say the word, it changes meaning. For example, ja means tool, but ja means mouth. Two completely different things. Uh, put your dirty jokes in the comments, you peevas. Furthermore, syllables are always CV, consonant, vowel. Uh, stress depends on tone. God, I feel that one. And the word order is subject, verb, object. But I've talked a lot about lingual evolution, so I think it's time to talk about... Let's talk about declensions. Instead of a construct after the word or directly modifying it, jababa, declensions are created by putting a single letter at the beginning. The declensions are locative, genitive, ergative, accusative, and absolutive. They consist of t, e, any, H, M. Conjugations are straight up not a thing. Pronouns are separate words, much like English or some versions of modern Spanish. Uh, tense is a different thing, and very unique. See, in Java, the entire sentence has a tense that is denoted by saying MO before or MO after. These are placed before the sentence begins. This can be confusing for new speakers, but the tones help to know what's really going on. If a sentence is present tense, you don't say anything before it. This brings us nicely to... Numbers are easy to understand, but aren't often used, and, well, you'll see why. Plurality in Java is achieved by doubling the last syllable of the word. So the word gata, fox, would become gatata, foxes. Numbers are much the same way. 
just repeat the last syllable the number of times you want to say. So if we wanted to say five foxes, we'd say, oh god, ga ta 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 ta. So you can see why numbers are unwieldy, and most people choose to just indicate how many there are by some other means, or not even use the plural at all. Final point, we'll be talking about the script of Java. So let's talk about... The writing system is simple to understand and relatively easy to use. I promise I'm not lying this time. Every syllable is written as one character, a consonant and a vowel. These are arranged in a square with a plus sign arrangement. The bottom half of the plus denotes the consonant, and the top is the vowel. For an example of writing, here's Live Action Me. Thanks, me. Now, let's create a simple word. The word... Shaba means home. It's our example. First, we figure out what sh is by consulting our chart. Once we have that, we can find the mark for aha and write it in the top section. Java is read from bottom to top and left to right. So sha goes at the bottom. Then above that, we put bu. A single word is tied together, as you can see, with no space between the syllables. Then, for tonal a, ah, we can simply put a line through the vowel symbol. This happens in all cases except e, which is just two symbols. Long vowels are denoted by a line on the top of the on the top of the whole of the character. So, there we have it: the Java Abugida. Back to you and me. Java is a fun and interesting language with unique features and differing ideas. Besides the unwieldy numeral system, Java is the most complete and solid language I've made, giving it the top spot, something it probably won't lose for a long time. Join me next time where I look at the female normative language of the sea peoples, Chakor.